Hello, Bishop Moore Catholic. I am Amanda Livermore, Vice President for Mission Effectiveness. And I'm so excited to be here with all of you today to congratulate our St. Joseph's Award winners. The St. Joseph's Award is a tradition at Bishop Moore Catholic that celebrates the way our Catholic education has impacted two students in each graduating class. Normally, we get to hear from these students as they celebrate what Catholic education means to them after the baccalaureate mass. But of course, this year in our unique circumstances, we found a new way to be able to share with you the ways that God has worked within their lives throughout their Catholic education experience. So why is it named the St. Joseph's Award? Well, the Sisters of St. Joseph were the founding order of Bishop Moore Catholic and their charism was an important part of helping to form us into who we are today. As a matter of fact, even some of our own alumni are now sisters of St. Joseph. And when we think of St. Joseph the person, we see someone who lived his life faithfully. And as a father, he was no doubt Jesus's first teacher of the faith. And so we look to him now in gratitude for the ways that his charism has been a witness on this campus through the Sisters of St. Joseph, and through so many after them. And now we listen to our students and hear the ways that this faith continues to be lived and impacting the lives of our students today. And so I'm pleased to announce our first St. Joseph's Award winner, Brooke Berry. Hi, I'm Brooke Berry, and I would like to take this time to thank the Bishopmore faculty and staff for everything they have done to make this graduation memorable for the class of 2020 during this unprecedented time. It was an honor to have received the St. Joseph's Award. I have been asked to read my essay to share what Catholic education has meant to me. My Catholic education has become a prominent part in my life and my relationship with God, others, and myself. I have learned more about the truth behind why I was created and how to fulfill the potential that God gifted me with. Catholic education has allowed me to recognize the dignity that I have as well as the dignity that I should treat every individual with. I have become a kinder, more faith-filled individual because of the encouragement that I have received from the teachers within the Catholic schools that I have attended. Before I attended Catholic school, I was at a public elementary and middle school. I always felt that I was lacking a key component in my life, that I was missing something important. It was not until I had the opportunity to go to Catholic school that I realized the missing piece was faith in my school community. I felt that I had finally discovered myself as a full individual, rather than just basing my self-worth on my grades and test scores. I also felt that Catholic school provided me relationships with friends, teachers, and with God that I would have never found if I had stayed in public school. Catholic education has also been the cause for the decrease in my anxiety. Throughout my elementary and middle school years, anxiety was a common part of my life. It wasn't until I started developing a deeper relationship with God through my Catholic education that this anxiety began to subside into something that I can manage. I began to realize that with the help of the Lord and by surrounding yourself with people that are optimistic that you can achieve anything and learn how to manage your stress. I learned that the mind is stronger than anything else and that faith can move mountains when you put it to use. My education plays a major role in the person that I have become today and will continue to play a role in the person that I want to become. Catholic education has given me my friends, an education that will lead to a career in what I'm passionate about, and most importantly, a stronger connection with the Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Brooke. I've had the privilege of knowing Brooke all four years here at Bishop Moore Catholic, and to see this faith growing in her during that time. We appreciate you sharing a little bit of your heart with us today. And our second St. Joseph's Award winner is Andrew Teremigan. To be honest, it can be difficult for me to put my Catholic education into context. I've never known anything else. I started at a diocesan feeder school in kindergarten, stayed at that same school for nine years, and then spent four years at Bishop Moore. Starting and ending my day with prayer, spending a part of each day in theology class, and regularly donning a dress uniform and attending mass with my classmates has simply been a fact of life for me in school. At times, it can be easy to lose sight of the distinction. The crucifix is just as natural in a classroom as textbooks or desks. Catholicism in my school never struck me because it was never out of place. When my Catholic education does stand out, ironically, is everywhere else but school. My Catholic education stands out when I stand with six of my brothers in an open field before a cross-country race, arms around each other, heads bowed in a circle, 
We pray to God for the strength and courage to run the race for each other and for our Lord. Runners trotting past us as they warm up hear the low murmur of seven of us saying prayer in unison. When we take the line, our spirit is different from everyone else's. We are one body together. My Catholic education stands out when the Model United Nations team takes time on a Sunday during a long weekend conference to celebrate mass in a cramped hotel conference room with other Catholic schools from across the state. While almost everyone in attendance at the event talks about camaraderie and universal unity as though it's some theoretical geopolitical concept that might one day come to fruition if only we hold enough meetings, we live out that unity right there with our brothers and sisters. My Catholic education stands out when college interviewers ask me what service means to me, and I tell them about the time I went with teachers and classmates to the mountains of the Dominican Republic to teach English in an elementary school. No one takes the trip for service hours. No one does it because it's easy. There in the Dominican Republic, the first time I ever had the chance to leave the United States myself, I saw the best of my peers, some of whom I had never even met before that trip. There was an inexplicable love present among us, as flawed and privileged and painfully Western as we may have been. Our Catholic education stands out when we have a chance to go out into the world as beacons of openness, acceptance, and love. That's what Catholic education means to me. It's not necessarily about having rituals or sets of prayers to repeat daily. It's not even about being Catholic yourself. It's about being surrounded by people who care about the world and want to make it a better, kinder place for everyone. Thank you, Andrew. I was so moved to get to work with you on your team retreat and to see the way that you were a leader of your own team in faith. Thank you so much for sharing your thoughts with us today. Thank all of you so much for being here with us today and for celebrating the way that Catholic education has impacted two of the many lives here on our campus. The whole reason we exist as a Catholic school is to help our students draw closer to God, to learn who they are as children of God, and to discover how to live that in the world. And I hope you were as inspired as we were by Brooke and Andrew as they shared those witnesses in their lives with us.